A Look at Finance is underwritten by Jannie Montgomery Scott, trusted advisors for generations. Welcome back to Look News. It's Thursday. That means our weekly appointment with Jannie Montgomery Scott Stephen Carlton. David, it's great to be here. It's great to have you here. Welcome to our new Saratoga Springs Digs. This is fantastic. It's we a great location. We decided to make the move so that your commute would be a lot easier. Yeah, I can actually just walk across the street. It's wonderful. All right. Let's get to some of the, the pressing business news. We've been mm -hmm. talking about this for some time now. Mortgage rates. Mm -hmm. um, the markets took a hit because of the mortgage rates, the anticipation that mortgage rates would change. Mm -hmm. um, and now the markets are... are kind of backtracking on that. Yeah, there was a lot of anxiety. Bernanke came out, uh, the Fed chairman, and spoke, and everybody interpreted the comments that the quantitative easing was going to stop, interest rates were going to go dramatically higher. We had a dramatic sell-off last week. Uh, Bill Dudley, who's one of the Fed chairman or Fed board members, came out this today and said, oh, I think you guys misinterpreted what we were saying. Uh, we're not going to cut off quantitative easing. It's going to be some time before we do that. Interest rates are not going to change dramatically. And the market liked what they heard. The, ra the market rallied today. The market is, is up the last two days, really the high since January. So this is encouraging to see. Yeah, the Dow closing over 15,000 points. It's been under that mark for a little while, a couple of days. And then the mm -hmm. S&P uh, 500 best three-day rally since January. So obviously between, you know, stepping back a bit on the mortgage rates, but also the fact that we've got some consumer spending and income numbers coming in that are better. Yep. And that obviously there's some things happening that are, are helping the market be a little more buoyant. Yeah, I think the, the housing numbers, people were really nervous about mortgage rates going to skyrocket. I think this has taken some of the pressure off of that because we saw last week uh, on Wednesday, yesterday, the, the new mortgage applications showing some real nervousness about interest rates. I think we'll see as, as the interest rates kind of calm down a little bit, the stock market will continue to do better as we go into the fall. All right, looking at the, uh, the jobless numbers here in our area, mm -hmm. uh, we reported this earlier this week here on Look News. Uh, the lowest unemployment numbers in our region since 2008, Saratoga Springs, uh, Saratoga County, in fact, uh, the best out of our three county viewing area. Warren and Washington County doing really pretty well. Right. Uh, Saratoga County um, doing the best. But you think that there's some more behind these numbers. It's not particularly that more and more people are finding jobs. Well, there's, there's a tremendous amount of good news. We've talked about this now for a year, about the chip plant, about the suppliers moving into the area, about you know New York being open for business. And so there's no doubt about it, there's a lot of great news that's in this area, that's unique to this area. And compared to the national numbers, they're significantly better. Um, but I think a lot of families are not getting the full-time employment that they're looking for. A lot of people in the community are getting part-time jobs, and that shows a lower unemployment number, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the average family is doing better off than they were, say, five years ago. So I think there's still more improvement for that. And uh, I think we're getting there, but more needs to be done. Yeah, I mean, we weren't hearing major announcements of employers moving into our area and hiring hundreds of people. Mm. It seems to be every time we talk about that, we're talking about the Global Foundries folks. Yeah, they're the obvious one, and there's no doubt about it. It's had a dramatic uh, impact. But I think people are going to continue, business owners are going to continue to be cautious. You know, the, the, uh, there's a lot of headwind that we're fighting against. But I think overall, this area is really in a much better shape than some of the other uh, the states in the country. Uh, the city of Saratoga Springs, actually the state of Colorado now getting a slice of the spa city. Um, yep. The Saratoga Casino announcing uh, that they have, after several months of renovations, $7.5 million worth of renovations on a casino that they bought in Blackhawk, Colorado. Yeah. Um, opening yeah. that today as the Saratoga Casino Blackhawk. You know, how fascinating is this? We, we, you know, Disney years ago created this Saratoga theme park, and now in Colorado we've got a casino after this town. What a great indicator that Saratoga's kind of been put on the map nationally for doing a lot of great things. I mean, there's a lot of communities that have tourist areas and everything else, but this community is really unique. There's a lot of things going for it, and it's fascinating to see other parts of the country wanted to emulate that. So that, that was neat to see. Well, other parts of the country want to emulate that, but also a local company, the Saratoga mm -hmm. Casino and Raceway, saying, you know, as we wait for the state and then the, the, the residents of the state to make their minds up about casino gambling, we're mm -hmm. going to go full force ahead and open some casinos mm -hmm. and really start a chain of casinos because the branding is very similar across the board. Yeah, it really is. There's a huge investment in this area. They, they know there's a lot of revenue to be had. And I think uh, New York State and Governor Cuomo has kind of gotten out ahead of this and recognize the potential. So we're, we're seeing all of this trickle down. All right, eventually we may see a casino of our own right here in Saratoga Springs. Seems likely. We'll yeah. see what happens come this fall. Uh, great news for the movie industry. 
and perhaps the television industry. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the governor is expected to sign a bill into law. It's a, a tax credit for movies. Mm -hmm. so, um, there was 14 counties that weren't included in this for some reason. I'm not sure mm -hmm. what the reason behind that was, but 14 counties statewide mm -hmm. couldn't apply for this tax credit. It has now been approved that it will be statewide. Yep. Of course, this could help with movie production yeah. in the Spa City. We were talking about Seabiscuit. Yeah, what a great movie. Um, yeah. so, some of that was filmed here. And of course, uh, Saratoga Socialite Michelle Riggie's e-reality show may, Everybody's be, in talking line, about it. may yeah. be in line for a tax break. Yeah, you know, this is, this is a fast, inter interesting piece because this area has so much going for it that uh, this kind of incentive can maybe cause some of the people in the movie industry to give a second look to the area. And we've got some good examples that they, you know, they can hopefully take advantage of. We will start filling out the paperwork for Stephen Carlton's brand new show here Reality on the TV. TV show. We'll see if we can get, <laughs> we get some state money to uh, furnish your Anything's possible, lavish right? needs. <laughs> I was going to say more you, but yeah, you know, oh, I think it'd be fun to do. I'm an easygoing kind of guy. I'll just yep. go with whatever. Call us. All right. Stephen <laughs> Carlton, our first look at finance from Thank Saratoga. You. We'll see you here next week. Always a pleasure. All Thanks, right, David. Thank you, sir. Stephen Carlton is the first vice president for Janie Montgomery Scott here in the Spa City. And you can see this and all our segments by heading to the website. It's LukeTVOnline.com.